My grandfather and my mother instilled in me the spirit of freedom. They taught me that I should not feel inferior to anyone because of my skin color or race, that I should strive to be a respectable person, respect myself, and expect others to respect me, and that I should learn as much as I could to improve as a person. Before we begin, be sure to hit that like button, subscribe, and consider joining our channel. Your support helps us fund videos like this one and others that so desperately need to be told. And now back to the video. These were the words of Rosa Louise Macaulay Parks. Born on February 4th, 1913 in Tuskegee, Alabama, she would go on to become one of the largest symbols of courage and resistance in the fight for civil rights in the United States. Raised in an environment where racial segregation was commonplace, Parks experienced the limitations imposed by the Jim Crow laws that discriminated against black people in all aspects of daily life from a young age. Despite these adversities, her family valued education and dignity. At the age of two, her family moved to Pine Level, Alabama, where Rosa Parks grew up alongside her brother, Sylvester. Despite the limitations imposed by racial segregation laws at the time, her mother, a teacher, instilled in her a love for learning. Parks moved to Montgomery at the age of 11 and attended a high school for African Americans, showing an early inclination toward equality and justice. In 1932, she married Raymond Parks, a civil rights activist. Her strong education and the support of her family empowered her to resist racial discrimination, ultimately leading her to become an icon of the civil rights movement in the United States. Parks' destiny became intertwined with the civil rights movement when in December 1943, she joined the Montgomery chapter of the National Association for the Advancement of Colored People and became the chapter's secretary. This decision marked the beginning of her activism and her integrity and courage soon caught the attention of community leaders like Edgar Daniel Nixon, an activist seeking to challenge Montgomery segregation laws. On December 1st, 1955, Rosa Parks became the epicenter of an event that would change the course of history. After a tiring day of work at the Montgomery Fair Department store, Parks boarded a city bus. At the time, black individuals were required to give up their seats to white passengers if there were no available seats in the designated black section. However, when ordered to give up her seat, Parks refused. Her act of peaceful resistance led to her arrest and triggered the famous Montgomery bus boycott. The boycott, led by the newly arrived Martin Luther King Jr., was a milestone in the fight against racial segregation. Montgomery's black community united in solidarity, refusing to use city buses for over a year. Despite facing violence and threats, the boycotters stood firm. On November 13, 1956, the United States Supreme Court ruled that bus segregation was unconstitutional, officially ending the boycott on December 20, 1956. Rosa Parks, nicknamed the mother of the civil rights movement, became an icon of resistance and dignity. After the boycott, Parks and her family moved to Detroit, where she continued her civil rights activism. In 1965, she began working as administrative assistant in the office of Congressman John Conyers Jr., where she dedicated her time in fighting for justice and equality. Meanwhile, in 1987, she co-founded the Rosa and Raymond Parks Institute for Self-Development in Detroit, an organization dedicated to empowering youth and promoting civic activism. Throughout her life, Rosa Parks received numerous accolades for her bravery and dedication to the civil rights cause. Her autobiography, Rosa Parks, My Story, published in 1992, provided an intimate look into her life and her role in the civil rights movement. In 1999, she was honored with the Congressional Gold Medal, the highest civilian award in the United States. Rosa Parks' influence transcends the borders of the United States. Her courage and determination inspired generations of activists around the world. Her legacy lives on in every effort for social justice and equality, serving as an enduring reminder of one person's ability to challenge injustice and challenge the course of history. I'll leave you with a question. What do you think was the biggest difference between Rosa Parks' decision not to give her Percy and Claudette Colvin's for doing the exact same thing years before? If you learned anything in this video, consider liking this video, subscribing to our channel, and sharing this video with someone to help spread the word on black adventures and American black history so that these heroes will never be forgotten. See you in the next video.